clown. That's clown shit. I'm gonna put petitions for the Black Lives Matter movement. I'm gonna put everything down below because I, you need to go sign that shit because what the fuck are you doing? Pretty bitches sign petitions. It's not that hard. Is that me? I've been sitting here for like 20 minutes trying to figure out how to start this because I have so much to talk about. If you're watching this video, you're either one of two things, been a supporter of mine for a while, and you're trying to figure out what the fuck happened to my channel, or um, your YouTube channel has been hacked and you don't know what to do. I'm hoping to give you guys some answers um, in both retrospects. I'm sorry, my titties are literally falling out. There comes a point when I really don't care anymore. Um, if you guys ever see me glance at my phone, it's because I made a whole Twitter thread about this and it helped me gather my thoughts um, to figure out what I want to say. So, so my name is Mackenzie Drake and I've been on YouTube for six years. A very long time, a very long time. On May 16th, See, let me pull out the thread. I don't freaking remember. As much as I want to forget that this all happened and as much as I want to just like move on and keep going and act like I wasn't hacked and just, you know what I mean? You can't avoid this situation and I, there is no help for this situation if you're a creator and you find yourself, um, find your channel being compromised. So. I'm hoping to help give you some answers, steer you in the right direction, and just tell y'all how to avoid this happening because this is the worst experience of, I swear my entire life. It felt like my heart was torn. I felt like my whole life was stolen and I know I shouldn't put that many eggs in one basket, but my YouTube getting hacked was, it was this was the darkest month of my life, okay? And I know, I don't want to be like, oh my god, your YouTube getting hacked is really that. Really? People are dying, Mackenzie. Coronavirus, people are dying. I know. So that's why I didn't want to make too many videos about it. I didn't want to scream on my Instagram about it. Like, I'm not, I don't want to show, you know, all this negative. That's not who I am. I don't want to be all negative. I don't want to be all begging for people's help. I don't like doing that. I don't like doing that. And, and in this situation, I had to do that. I had to continually tweet Team YouTube. I had to continually email. I had to continually like bug people. And I don't like doing that. I just like doing my shit and minding my own business. You know, I don't like, I don't like doing that. So this was really hard on me. I bet it was hard on all of you guys. I know you guys love watching my videos. It's been helping you through this quarantine and I'm really sorry that this happened. Bitches are getting bored and my account was compromised. So I'm just gonna explain everything like I never made any other video um, because I did make another video on my second channel. It's called Kenzie Drake. So everyone go subscribe to that just in case this shit gets hacked again. No, it won't. I am going to do everything in my power to avoid that. But yeah, this month was crazy. Like so much stuff has happened in this month and the past six years I've vlogged, I've documented every single fucking thing, every single thing. And taking a break from that for a month, I don't think I've done that in years. So it was really, really weird. I had to go deep into myself and figure out my life. I had to figure out everything. I had to deal with the emotions that I've been dealing with because, you know, YouTube sometimes is not only is it, you know, a getaway for you guys watching my videos, it's a getaway for me too. And sometimes I just avoid what I'm feeling, I avoid everything, and I'm just like making videos non-stop, non-stop, working, working, working. And then when this happened, all hell broke loose. Um, if you guys have ever, you know, added Team YouTube, if you guys have supported me, sent me messages, thank you so much. I'm sorry if I didn't respond. I'm really bad. I'm really bad doing that. Um, especially in this time, I was not in emotionally good space. Um, but yeah, let me just get to it because this is going to be a very long video. I have to leave in like half an hour. And I'm probably not going to get it this fucking finished. So, this past month, like, so it happened on May 16th, I'm pretty sure. On May 16th, my channel, I had 134,000 subscribers. It was hijacked. 
So right now I'm pretty sure I have 129,000 followers. So I didn't lose as many as I was, you know, thinking that I was going to because I was so afraid. Like if I saw a bunch of live streams from Bitcoin pop up on, on somebody's channel, like getting notifications, I wouldn't, would I unsubscribe? I'm pretty lazy, but I would, I probably would. So thank you if you guys haven't unsubscribed and you're still, you know, supporting me. I really appreciate it. Um, that wasn't me. If you don't know what's going on and this is the first video you've seen um, about my situation, make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter because if anything like that happens again, you'll know what's going on. But um, there was like three or four Bitcoin live streams. Um, my, profile cha my profile picture was changed. My cover beta was changed. My about page was changed. Um, all of my videos were privated, thank God. They weren't deleted, or they were deleted, and YouTube, I don't fucking know, I'll get to that. Um, so the only videos on my channel were live streams, and I don't know, I really don't want to get into who it was, why, why I'm angry, like, it's over, I don't even want, it was probably just like a bot, and um, I was sitting here trying to figure out what, how it happened, and I'm pretty sure it was like a sponsorship phishing email. So if you're a creator and you don't have management and you go through sponsorship emails, even if you're not a creator and you're going through emails, just regular emails, don't click on links in your emails because my dumb ass, 30 seconds of poor judgment led to a month of fucking hell. Like I'm not even lying. Like getting into contact with YouTube was so hard. Everything, I don't wish this on my worst enemy. I don't wish this on any creator and I hope this never happens to anyone else because the amount like I felt so helpless I felt so hopeless and I know you guys were there too but like in regards to the YouTube community and people like of my like you know my you not YouTube friends I don't have YouTube friends people helped as much as they could but like I felt so lost and like it it felt like my world stopped and everyone's world kept going if that makes any sense this is really sad but this is how I felt it was like <sighs> I'm about to get emotional because literally when this fucking happened, it was like four in the afternoon and I got an email on my phone saying that someone got into my account and um, I lost it because I don't remember, I didn't screenshot, I don't fucking know. I'll put screenshots up as much as I can of um, what I'm explaining. Um, and then I checked my YouTube. And I went to my YouTube and I hit the refresh and my banner changed and I lost it. I was screaming. I was crying. I don't get angry. I don't lose my temper. Like when you lose your temper, you lose everything. Like you, I don't do that. I don't like losing my temper, especially like my parents right there. I don't like doing that. And I was screaming. I was yelling. They were trying to calm me down. I was literally having a panic attack. Um, I screamed, I re refreshed it and my banner was changed. I didn't want to refresh it again. Then I refreshed it again and all my videos were gone. And my profile picture was changed to this stupid dude. But literally so fucking stupid. Are you kidding me? Who is that? <laughs> I was like, I don't know what this is. I was so lost. Everyone was texting me for, I swear, a week. Asking if they knew I was my channel hacked. Yes. YouTube is my life. I definitely know when something's going on in my channel. <laughs> I lost it. I was posting on, you know, my Instagram and my Snapchat saying that it happened. And then I made a little video and made a second channel to try to like get all my supporters to know what was going on because that was what I needed to know. So I was just afraid that they were going to be deleted. Like everyone was recommending me to watch the Megan Ranks hacked YouTube series and she went through all this and luckily her situation I feel like was a lot more difficult than mine because her hacker was smarter I feel like and he deleted everything. But mine, I swear, was like a bot. It wasn't, I don't fucking know. I don't even think it was a person. And luckily, all my videos were there. And um, Megan Rank said that the, the main thing that helped her was Twitter DM. The weirdest fucking thing. If you, don't, if you don't know anything about YouTube, you can't call them. There's a creator support email, but because of coronavirus, they're only accepting creator. I don't know. I'll put it up on the screen. If, you're, if you don't have access to that account with 100,000 subscribers, they're not going to email you back. So email did nothing for me. The only thing that helped was Twitter and the recovery. Um, well, it was a recovery email. I'm sorry. I'm literally such a mess. I haven't recorded an actual YouTube video in weeks. I am so lost. My mind is jumbled. But I'm trying to... Ah!
But yeah, so the first thing I did was I went under the recovery process, just like how if you lost your email, you know. Sorry, my chin, I got my wisdom teeth out a couple days ago, so it's swollen. Sorry about that. And also got sunburned, and it's peeling really bad. Okay, let me fuck it. All right. Um, did the recovery process on the accounts.google or whatever, you know, enter the password you remember, uh, give us information of what happened. And I did that, I swear, 20 times. I'll try to put up pictures of what it looked like. I was sending paragraphs. I don't know if it's a person from Google who's supposed to like go in and read, like, read it and who knows. Um, and then I was feeling that I didn't get any response for all of that except for literally when I got it fixed. So I was stressing, I was worried because Megan Ranks was like, after 30 days, your videos are deleted. I was like fucking stressing, crying. I, w I swear I cried every day for like a week. I, I don't do that, I don't fucking cry. I'm a bad bitch, you can't make me cry. But I was crying, okay. So, yeah, and the last thing I wanted to do was make a fuss about my little YouTube channel. When everything was going on, it was coronavirus, George Floyd, um, everything, the whole Black Lives Matter movement, and it's obviously still a thing, and I was not about to post the day, like three days after everything going on with the protests about my YouTube getting hacked. Like, I didn't want to create a fuss. And I, that's, you know, something that, you know, I was worried about because I was like, what if I don't create enough buzz about this and it really just doesn't, I don't get it back because I don't want to, you know, do that. And that's just the kind of person I am. I'm not going to, I'm not going to post about my little issue whenever there's so many bigger things going on in the world. And I'm not saying that my issue is any less because of other people's issues, but that was how I was feeling. And especially when you're an influencer and you have a con and you have a platform it, it just, you don't do that, like, especially with everything going on. So, you know, I'm also going to put links below to support the Black, Black Lives Matter ah! the Black Lives Matter movement. That's why I was even more pissed, because I didn't have my YouTube, I didn't, I couldn't make any videos about what was going on, I couldn't make, you know, a bunch of, you know, videos, fundraising for it, I couldn't, you know, have all my ads go towards it. Like, it was just so irritating, you know. What really hurt is that, like, my world stopped, my YouTube stopped, and I kept seeing everyone else posting, and then it just made me, like, literally wanna ball every second because I couldn't even get on Instagram and on Snapchat because, like, everyone was posting, like, nothing happened because obviously my world isn't everyone's world, duh. But you can get what I'm saying, like, seeing everyone just posting and, like, editing a video da, da, da. I literally it hurt me like physically like I almost felt like I was getting sick like that's like physically getting sick not just like mentally hurting like it was to getting to that point and you know my email has everything I lost my email and my YouTube and yes you're not supposed to put everything in one basket I know I know especially electronically like this isn't permanent this isn't YouTube everything online is temporary you know what I'm saying but at the same time, you put so much into it, and you know, six years, all those videos, I need to back them up, definitely now, but <laughs> so much. And especially in that month, like, I felt I couldn't, you know, record things, and I bet I could, you know, on my other channel, but it just didn't feel the same. Like, I graduated, I turned 18, you know, I got my wisdom teeth out, I got another tattoo. I just feel like you guys have missed so much of my life already and it's only been three weeks. What, like four, four or five weeks? No, it's almost been a month, two months, oh, bitch, I don't know. I just feel like I've been gone for so long. But yeah, I got a new tattoo. It says no matter what, I got it with my mom on my 18th birthday. Um, yeah. Maybe I'll make, talk about how my graduation everything went in another video. I just want to talk about my situation. Oh, I was explaining about the link. So I'm gonna put petitions down below because what the fuck, Breonna Taylor's freaking murderers aren't in jail yet. So that's a big fucking issue. Um, I'll, I'll put links to donate. Maybe I'll have, you know, all that. I would put this as a fundraiser, but my monetization has been turned off except for when I, um, until I can reapply for it. I don't know why. I'm gonna have to look way more into that. Like literally I was just, I just got my YouTube back yesterday. So I got my YouTube back June 26th. So if you do the math, May 16th to June 26th, 
bitch I don't know but that's a long time that's a long fucking time and that was my whole summer I mean not only is YouTube you know my whole life and like my social like everything it's also my income and obviously I'm not gonna make this just my only income you know anymore but um I was say I'm saving up for a car I'm saving up for all these things I'm about to go to college in the fall and I was stressing out because like if I don't get this back you know I'm gonna have to figure out you know how to support myself um, because my parents definitely aren't. If you get hacked, if you get hacked, I recommend doing as much as you can with the recovery email. Just keep going at them um, and responding with, oh, you don't remember your password? Okay, do this. And then, I, it's hard to explain, but if you get hacked, you know what I'm talking about. Just keep sending that. Um, the main things to do is you can email creator support, which I got nowhere with because I think of coronavirus. That did not help that this is during coronavirus and everything, this did, that did not help my situation, I feel like. I feel it would have been way quicker if it wasn't with all this. Um, you're supposed to make a thread. So YouTube has a help form, and they have like little gold product specialists, Google specialists, I have no fucking idea. And they respond to threads, and they help you with situation. Um, they did not help me with mine. I posted two threads. Um, I posted one on May 18th, and I posted one on June 11th. Maybe I'll put them up here. Um, no one responded, so that was nothing. Yeah. I said from there I went into a downward spiral, questioning everything, researching endlessly about other people getting hacked, and I felt completely torn. So I decided to make a new channel on May 17th and posted a video trying to explain what was going on. Called my channel was hacked, da da da. Um, so I decided to send a DM to Team YouTube. I'm gonna try to put the screenshots. I'm not gonna explain every single chat that I sent them. But, um, I posted and they were like, I sent you a DM. I don't know if it was automated. I don't know if it was a person on there. I have no idea if that team YouTube Twitter DM even helped me get my channel back. Um, and I'll explain that a little bit further. So if you get, if your channel's hacked, um, I definitely recommend, um, Twitter DMing team YouTube, adding them. I would comment under every single... Like, they would respond to other people's tweets. I would comment after every single one, like, do you have an update? Do you have an update? I know I was getting annoying, but I didn't know what the fuck else to do. I'm sorry, I'm talking really fast. <laughs> I have to go somewhere. Ah! So, I decided to send a DM to Team YouTube. I wonder if they've texted me since then, because I go up to the top. Um, I explained my situation and everything, and then they were like, well, pass the info to a team take closer look I don't know if it was an internal team I really don't know everything that they said always went back to this internal team so I was like okay whatever they said it'll take a couple of days to review everything um and then I was getting stressed out because my YouTube channel had like a disabled icon and then they finally got back to me and said it looks like your channel is now linked to a different email address um we recommend creating a new brand account to transfer back to which I don't think they ever did um I don't think YouTube fixed my situation. I think Google did. And I'll explain. Um, so I did this channel switcher, and then they said, also we have reinstated the deleted content and rejected the uploaded videos by the hacker. That, that was like the best news I've ever heard. So that was on May 20th. Um, they said we reinstated the deleted content and rejected it, and in all disabled my entire YouTube. So I couldn't have access to it, and neither could the hacker. So. For this whole month, no one has been able to touch my account. Um, I think the hacker had access to my account for like maybe two days, three days. Um, so now it was just trying to recover my account, verifying my identity. Um, they were sending me a case number. Like, I have no idea. It was just such a freaking mess. Like, that's all you can do if you get hacked is just go from every single outlet, go, go from every single angle and just hope for the best because... I don't know exactly what happened. All I know is I can log in and it's fine, except for my monetization. So um, then from there, um, after I sent them the case number um, from all that, from my, I don't know. I like filled out this like little survey, like forum, like, I don't know. And then from there at, on May 21st, I literally got nothing back from them um, at all on Twitter DM. Like, I was sending the messages every day, paragraphs, and then on June's 15th, their dumbasses, they said, apologies for the delay. To confirm, were you able to recover your account? No, bitch. If I was able to recover my account, I wouldn't even be in this conversation. So, after that, 
they literally helped me with nothing um yeah, that was literally it um the only thing that really came out of the team youtube twitter dm was that they said they reinstated the content i don't know i don't fucking know um so while that was happening i was consistently trying to verify my identity to gmail not youtube to get my email back but after sending paragraphs of information i started to give up they kept sending the same like automated message um thank you for filling out our account recovery form we know that you're losing access to your account it can be frustrating so luckily they got back to it yeah i was like sending paragraphs um and then yes i don't think not much happened other than that with trying to get it back um let me look i was literally responding i was i dm'd like 20 verified twitter accounts trying to get you know someone to post about my situation i was dming youtubers on instagram i was talking to samantha joe like a lot of my youtube friends really were super nice and they were really nice and posted on their instagram for me and just really never tried you know to post me or you know if you're a creator and you did that i really really appreciate it like i don't know if one of those things might have helped like led to my channel getting back it's just so it's so like i don't even know this whole process i don't think i ever talked to anyone like as a person why is it looking bright everything was automated but somehow my situation was figured out so i kept dming megan ranks i was commenting on her twitter and with everything going on as well with um the protests and everything you know it was also harder to get her attention so Finally, she like tweeted under one of my tweets, um, tagging um, Matt Koval, which is like a YouTube liaison and um, YouTube creators. I don't know if that helped either. I have no idea. Thank you, Megan Rinks, for doing that. I really appreciate it. I just kept going at it. So, if your YouTube gets hacked, just don't stop fighting for it and just be really, you know, that's literally all I can say. Like, I have nothing else. Like, this situation was so j jumbled. Like, I don't know what led to it. It was crazy, but um, I said. But it was just the start of a waiting game. My patience started to grow thinner each day, and then there was nothing left. I began DMing them constantly. Yeah, I was DMing Team YouTube so much. I was just so confused. I was like, are you guys researching? Why? What? I just want to know what you're doing. Like, I don't care how long it takes. Just tell me exactly what you're doing. Like, I didn't care. I just wanted to know what they were fucking doing. And they didn't tell me. Um, so I also tried to email the YouTube support email, like I said. They said, thanks for getting in touch with the creator support team. We only support channels that are part of the YouTube partner program. So, like, my YouTube is a part of that program. Just not when I lost it. <laughs> I was like, okay, that's not going to get anywhere. So, I was just so nervous that they weren't going to be reinstated. I just kept tweeting. I kept commenting under Team YouTube. And I'm like, what if I did nothing and it still would have got it back? Because what happened was yesterday we got an email um, from Google. It wasn't even from YouTube. And I know they're the same company, but it's really weird. They're like two different things. So... It was an email to have me create a new password and I was like it was on my mom's computer because we kept sending the it was like for more information send it to this email so we sent it to my parents email and me and my parents I was like am I getting my YouTube back right now and we changed the password we added a recovery email and I'll put the picture up right here I'm gonna expose them this is the email that um, hacked my account so or it was a recovery email empireoxy at gmail.com whoever the fuck you are fuck you um y'all go do what you want to do with that information but um i added a recovery email um here's what it said it said it was a google support email i'll put it up it said we understand that you can't sign in you have to file a claim um and then i clicked the google internal es escalations link which is a special link and you can't share it with anyone i guess and then it just went straight to changing my password and just worked um so i went under my account it was fucking hoorah the biggest sigh of my life it was like the the biggest weight off my shoulders i was like thank jesus 
because I don't know what I would do without YouTube. Like, I was like, oh my God, thank you, Lord. It was, I don't even know. So, I went on my YouTube and I instantly changed my banner, my profile picture. Um, I went under my video studio and all my videos were there, just privated. Um, the weird thing is that they all had copyright claims, which obviously they all didn't. Um, so we're gonna have to figure that out, but, uh, yeah. I'm not making any money right now, if that makes any sense. So, I had to go in and unprivate all my videos. Um, and then I checked my monetization. I'll put the picture up. It says, your channel is no longer eligible to monetize. And when I saw that, I was like, wait a damn minute. Wait a second. So, what I have to do now is I have to reapply for monetization on July 10th. So basically to even apply for monetization, like you have to gain a thousand subscribers and I know I have more than a thousand subscribers, but you have to gain like another thousand subscribers. So I have to gain another thousand subscribers and then 4,000 public wash hours. So, and then I can reapply for monetization. So that was like the least of my issues. Like the thing I was worried about was losing all my videos when I got it back, like Megan Rinks, like she lost all her videos because they were deleted. Thank God, I don't know who on the team, I don't know who was handling my case, I have no idea, like it was so, such a mess. Um, but yeah, that's my situation. And here we are, I got it back. I was so happy yesterday, like, not only that, but I got like a $2,000 scholarship for the fall. I was like, what? Girl, I need so much money for college, let me tell you. I haven't talked to you guys in forever. I feel like I just need to sit here and talk to you guys for hours. I might go live. Yeah, like I never went live on my YouTube before and I feel like it just took my like, when I saw that, I was like, my heart hurt. I was like, I never even went live before and someone just wanted to hack me and like do that. I'm sorry if you guys thought that was me. I'm sorry if you guys were ever swayed by those lives. like. I don't know what the fuck trying to sell Bitcoin to my subscriber base like we're like 18 I don't get it that's where we're at I'm so happy I'm back um as much as I wanted to post just with regular content and not talk about what happened I really just wanted to touch base on it and um let you guys know if you if you're a creator with 100,000 subscribers if you're a creator with 10 subscribers you can get hacked um even if you don't even have a YouTube okay so don't click please don't click and i'm trying to avoid um opening emails on my phone because when you open email on your phone you don't see everything on the email so if something looks sketchy you can't tell so don't log into your bank on through an email don't log into your you know this is probably common knowledge but i'm an idiot and it was like two in the morning and <sighs> I don't know if I can find the sponsorship email through my, cause I have my email back now. So I had to go through a bunch of emails. <sighs> I remember it was like, it was a sponsorship and it was like a lot of money. I know it was too good to be true. And I clicked the link to download this program and I think it hacked me. Um, but it was like a couple days before I was hacked. So I don't, I'm not entirely sure. And you guys were saying uh, Shein hacked you. Everything's talking about Shein, Shein. Which is a possibility, but I actually never like ordered through Shein except for like once a couple years ago. Um, like Shein sends me the clothes, so I don't put my information in through the Shein website, if that makes any sense. So I don't think it was Shein. I was just like, that sponsorship email just seemed really big to me. I feel like that was it. And as a creator, I've never heard of that, like a sponsorship phishing email. I never heard of that. If you don't know what phishing is, it's basically, you know, trying to... A link in an email to get you hacked or to compromise your situation so if you're a creator and you get hacked just to avoid it don't click on emails and if it's too good to be true it's definitely too good to be true okay um, check the ad check the profile picture and it looked scammy and I still freaking clicked it like I'm an idiot and I feel like this is all my fault <sighs> I'm an idiot but if you guys want to see more um, information like when it actually happened my, I'll put the YouTube video in the description down below on my other channel where I was more describing how I felt at that time because it was not a good time for me. It was not a good time for me. I didn't feel good. It was just, it was dark. It was fucking dark. Um, yeah. Because, you know, I realized it was true. 
I realized who was a real friend to me because, you know, YouTube is my whole life and I realized who was checking up on me and who wasn't because Everyone knows that it's my whole life. I edit constantly, I'm filming constantly, like this is literally me, this is this is everything to me. So especially when it was taken out of my hands, my close ones should know, but some didn't. But it's fine, it's fine. We, we, uh, we move on. Now, it's the middle of summer. I'm gonna do some summer videos. Um, I'm gonna be in college in the fall. Uh, hopefully everything goes good with that, but you know, I'm about to get my license like I was about to stop I was like if I can get it back like I feel like so much so much is happening right now This is such a big point in my life. I need to film like I'm freaking I'm about to get my license actually the DMV we went all the way down to the DMV 40 minutes 40 minutes away and they canceled all of our appointments. I don't even want to get into it. That was so fucking annoying um but you know, yeah, I'm about to buy a car, not a good one, let me tell you. I'm looking at a 2004 Saturn VU, 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 that, those cars are a little old, a little old, but it's a car, like, I'm, I'm, I'm bursting out of my shell, I'm growing into the adult that I don't want to be, I don't want to be an adult. But I was like, how am I not supposed to film any of this? It just felt so weird being at graduation, not worrying about vlogging and stuff, but, you know, it was good to not worry about it, but at the same time, same time it did not feel right I was like I'm something's missing I just went into this dark deep depression and it was just so bad the fewer hacked if you're hacked um, and you're a YouTube creator step one make sure you go through all your Google emails um, like your recovery email um, when you lose it you know right when it happens just be really on the alert with everything um, Two, contact team Twitter um, team Twitter, Team YouTube on Twitter. Um, three, make a help forum um, thread. I don't know if it'll work, but uh, contact creator support on YouTube. Um, and then from that point, all you can do is wait and bug Team YouTube on Twitter. Like literally, that's all you can do is just wait. And that's what hurt was the waiting part because <laughs> it was just so stressful. I was like, am I gonna get it back? Ah, it was it was such a mess. But um, we're here and I got it back. Speak it into existence. I was over here manifesting that shit. I was like, I'm gonna get it back, I'm gonna get it back. Fucking using all the witchcraft. Ugh. Just started like a contract with like a company and I was supposed to make videos and like they paid me before I got hacked. And then they were asking for a refund and I was like, girl, I don't have that refund. That's a lot of money. Luckily, I have a bag so I can start making the content. Um, yeah, that's all I'm gonna, I think that's all I'm gonna say here. If I'm missing anything, I'm definitely gonna come in at the end of the video on my iPhone. Um, but yeah, that's my whole entire situation. I'm so sorry this happened because that, that was so annoying. Um, hardest thing in my life, I swear. Like, it was so stressful. So fucking stressful. Um, if you're there to support me, I really do appreciate it. So make sure you guys go follow my Instagram, my Twitter, and subscribe to this channel so that your girl can get monetized again because, girl, this is getting out of hand. Look at me peeling. I know that's probably so ugly to look at. Not only that, but I literally changed my whole room. Like, I was buying decor over this. Like, I was so bored. I didn't know what to do. I literally, I'm going to do a whole room tour because, look, I have the... If you haven't seen my Instagram or anything, you're probably like, your room has changed. Yeah, I like changed my bed, like I moved around stuff. I'm really happy with how it looks now, but your bitch has grown in a month. It's crazy how much I can change in a month because I feel like I've changed a whole lot. Um, I feel like, I, yeah, I feel like I have. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm just so happy to be back. Oh my gosh. Like I haven't turned on this camera in, since the day it happened. It's so crazy. I was gonna do the Chloe Ting workout challenge and the day I started, my channel was hacked. And I was like getting my shit together. Like I was like gonna eat healthy and all this. So we'll see if I wanna do that again. But you know, it's the end of the video. I don't wanna go. I probably didn't get, <laughs> go on live later because like, I just wanna talk to you guys because, oh my God. I'm just so happy to have this platform again. I'm just so happy. If I missed anything, I'm gonna put it in the description box down below. I'm gonna try to put, you know, the ads and like everything and, 
you know i'm gonna put petitions for the black lives matter movement i'm gonna put everything down below because i you need to go sign that shit because what the fuck are you doing you need to do it you just need to pretty bitches sign petitions it's not that hard i really hope you enjoyed this video if this is super long you know i had to get everything out i really did oh am i a prepubescent boy did you hear that <laughs> it feels so weird to be filming again Ah, y'all like my makeup? Look at the purple. I took a while. And also got a new chair. And I like got a new makeup station. A girl, if y'all want a room tour, let me know because I'm really wanting to do that. We go. So I love you guys so much. Please hit that like button, subscribe, share this with your friends, share this with your YouTube friends so that they know not to get hacked and how to avoid it. I'm an idiot. I bet every other YouTuber already knows shit like this and knows not to click links, but you never fucking know. So. I love you guys so much. Oh, and I also became a TikTok star. Can we talk about that? Um, go follow my TikTok. Literally, that's the only good thing that has come out of this. <laughs> I started just going, I just started being doing TikTok and now I have 50,000 followers. So that's the only good thing that's happened. Yeah, look at my room. Okay, I need to go. I love you guys so much. Um, it's really good to see you guys again. Okay. Make sure to comment, you know, I just want to talk to you guys. Everyone comment. I want to, I just want to talk. Okay. Everyone want me. Okay. I love you.